Hello YouTube, welcome back to my playthrough of the Destroy All Humans reboot. I hope that you guys are enjoying uh, this series, and if you are, please do drop a like. It does help the series out a lot. But let's continue from where we left off here. Who is Arkvoodle? Ask Pox about Arkvoodle. Wow. So, our Furon god is buried in effigy all over Earth. <laughs> Who'd have thunk? Ah, yes. Arkvoodle of the Sacred Crotch. Prodigious in size, legend in potency and stamina. You put me in mind of him, Crypto, with your new clone's pure Furon DNA and restored genitalia. Yes, you are the spitting image of... <gasps> Good gonads! The prophecy! What? What prophecy? It foretells the coming of a savior who will reassert the sexual dominance of the Furon race. Tis written in the holy book of Fudenga. And lo, a son of Arkvoodle shall rise newly born to prepare ye for that day when Arkvoodle shall come again. Wait a minute. It sounds incredible, I know. But Crypto... What if it's true? What if you're... the one? Hmm, I did take a red pill this morning. Resurrect Arkvoodle. Okay, just for the sake of argument, let's say you're right. How the hell am I supposed to bring about the second coming of Arkvoodle? The scriptures say Arkvoodle will return when enough seekers believe in him again. You mean, like, Tinkerbell? It's something like that. But Crypto, this is ideal! Humanity is desperate to reconnect the physical and spiritual! All that's needed is for you to spread the good pickup line of Arkvoodle! They're bound to follow you! You want me to start a cult? <laughs> Basically. Basically. Hmm. Religion is the opiate of the masses. I like it, but how do I do it? Well, humans tend to sublimate their individuality into tribal units bound by social and political commonality. Such groups are full of docile sheep, ripe for conversion to the way of the sacred crotch. Hail, Arkvoodle! Time to get religious. Hallelujah. Before you do, it would be wise to go and seek the blessing of Arkvoodle himself. What? You mean one of those statues with a pigeon crap on it? Precisely. Seek the blessing of Arkvoodle and your cult will prosper. If you say so, but I'm gonna feel like a putz. Okay, activate PK scan one on the ground. Objects that transform into weapons, swing the object on, into the target, or slam it into the ground. Okay. So you gotta basically zap like Argvoodle or like do something else to unlock the landing zones. From the highest state of chaotic fecundity, when the ring turns orange and the population's nerves are frayed, then shall the ground be fit to sow, and the masses shall follow. Thus spake Ark. Raise alert level to orange. Okay. Then shall the ground be fit to sow, and the masses shall follow. Thus spake Ark. There we go. Bound, sit up, bound, down. Well, a little lag there, okay. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Raise alert level to orange, okay. No idea. 
initiation. Go, son of Arkoodle. Take the sacred crotch to the masses. Okay, we've unlocked the landing zone. That's, I guess a little tutorial on how to unlock landing zones. Arkoodle has a little bit of a mission each time. Art Voodle says, come again, two hesitation, six nine, behold he comes. And this is the one that's on the on the collector's edition too, guys. I have that actually right here. Um camera's being a little but yeah, I have it. It's actually a little metal like poster that you can put up on the um on the wall. Uh okay. The guns of Alcatraz. Ha ha! We've got those KGB agents now, Crypto! Finally! My gun was getting lonely. Man, I hate those guys. And I didn't think it was possible for anyone to wear worse suits than Majestic. <laughs> Majestic is the government agency you fought in the first game. Uh, they were a shadowy US government group that wanted world domination. Press Pox for more info on the KGB. Talk movies. Talk movies. Actually, Pox, I was kind of planning to go see this new Russ Meyer movie. Violent Vixens Vroom Vroom. Looks like a blockbuster. This is no time for film going. <laughs> Our grip on this planet is at serious risk. Have you seen a Meyer flick, Pox? It's a religious experience. Press Pox for info on the KGB. So what you got on those sneaky monkeys? Bongwater's last transmission betrayed the location of the KGB base of operations. They're working from an abandoned prison island in the middle of the bay. Let's wipe out the KGB joke about the island. Prison island? The KGB are holed up in Australia? <laughs> oh. No. Humans have many prison islands, apparently. It's one area in which they are highly evolved. Yeah, this so game is not politically correct. This one simply as the rock. Okay then. Time to put the KGB between the rock and my hard place. Basically what that was joking about is that the um Australia um uh, when it was colonized by the British Empire, the British actually sent a lot of prisoners there. Um so that's what crypto was making fun of originally. Gotcha. I'll blast that island back into the ocean with the rest of the slime. Need for it? That agent Orinchov told Bongwater they were going to destroy the entire city somehow. You'd best scout the island first and find out what they have planned. Recap mission goals. Run it down for me one more time. My ears are still ringing from that last gig. The KGB are on a prison island in Michael Bay, known as The Rock. Go to the island and do some ground reconnaissance. If there's no threat to the city, then kill those Reds dead! Hmm. Violent victory. Vroom vroom. Alright, I'm going in to get a piece of the rock. So this is, um, reach the island, don't touch water. Okay, I think that should be easy to do. So that is Alcatraz. Alcatraz is a, a lot farther out in the water. It's not that close, um, uh, but it's just video game logic. Okay, do not touch water. Okay. My patience is at an end, Gospodin. I'm shaking in my booties. You guys make Americans look clever. <laughs> Silence! Do 
workers' revolution is inevitable. Right. You don't really know much about capitalism, do you, Ivan? I know corrupt corporations fatten themselves off the toil of the American worker, even as they pull the strings of the American government. Exactly. You can't beat that kind of muscle. Not even with nuclear time bombs hidden all over Base City? So that's Natalia. You'll meet her a little bit later. I've had wet dreams that weren't this good. Comrade, destroy these documents before he finds out where the bombs are hidden. For Sovetsky Soyuz. Damn it, we need Bay City. Hey, Ruski, give me those docks. Kill the Soviet agent and get that dossier together. We need to know where those ships are. Kill the fleeing KGB agent with an explosive. Okay. Ah. Revel. I picked up Revelate by accident. Okay. Okay, that's where the um the so the Soviets have put a bunch of nuclear bombs around um a base city, and we have to disarm them, and that's um oh, that's the location of them. Okay, activate the landing zone. Okay, it's not shooting at me right now. Okay, landing zone. Here we go. It is written in the book of divine fabrications that the great god of the sacred crotch was not made and cannot be unmade. Our poodle is, always was, and always will be. And who wants they got it right? Fire at my idol with your disintegrate array. I'll show you. Don't you? Nonetheless, I shall unlock the landing zone. Thanks for playing. Okay, enter. <laughs> Okay. Okay, this is one of the nuclear bombs. Okay, there we go. Okay, three more left. And the nuclear bombs are on top of hippie vans. Okay. But uh, the KGB in this game are pretty, like, incompetent. But, um... In real life, the KGB were some really scary guys, and, um, uh, the KGB, they were- The KGB were mostly known for their- Their assassinations. They were known mostly as assassins. The KGB carried out a lot of assassinations during the Cold War. And there's a lot of assassinations that have never been proven, but it's probably- they, It's probably done by the KGB. The KGB's most famous assassination was they assassinated the president of Afghanistan. They shot him two times in the head in 1978. That was one, one year before their, their invasion. Okay, now we destroyed the um, Alcatraz. And the destruction in this game is really good. Get, getting rid of those AAs, okay. Oh, 
Let's see what this building's like. Um. Ooh, nice. Okay. Drain. Okay. Get more shields. Okay. Need to uh, deflect one more missile. Where are the AAs? There we go. Okay, now final part of the KGB base. This. There we go. Destroyed. Oh, wait, there's still one more. Ne never mind, a tower. So every building in this game can actually be destroyed. That's what's really cool about this game. No more rock? Oh, the, um, uh, the base city uh, escape convicts take revenge. Authorities blame rock music. What? So th that's that's a reference to the famous Alcatraz prison break. Um, there was like four or five guys that escaped from Alcatraz, and they were actually never found, and it's believed that they went to South America. Um, the Bay City Mayor alleges that um, uh, dangerous escaped convicts who escaped the Rock Prison uh, uh, back in 63 um, uh, returned to blow it up, while... Um, uh, While blasting mind-controlled rock music, the devious convicts wired the island with C4. Uh, the escapes, uh, escapees then threw a grenade to trigger the initial blast, escaping um, uh, uh, rearrest by swimming across Michael Bay. Uh, local cops gathered in, in force of the scene, uh, claim uh, that they just needed some more powerful guns to stop the dangerous men once and for all. A terrified bystander, uh, bystander recounted a wild tale of KGB agents, UFOs, and aliens to police. That kind of hooey could only come from a very sick mind, said Rudolf um, uh, Mellitmeister, Mellet a local cop. For her own safety, we had to commit her. Huh. So that means they put, the, they, put, they put her into an insane asylum. Now we get to, um, uh, we get to go to, um, uh, oh, and I think, yeah, we unlocked some side missions here, but I'll save the side missions for the end of the game. Um, uh, kind of like extra episodes. Okay, let's see here, um. Oh, and this is the Gene Blender, okay, um. Okay, right, so you got, a uh, um, 30 hippies, 20 cops, and 10 soldiers. Okay, and that, that upgrades certain abilities for you. Okay, I see. Um, okay, uh, let's see here, uh, Poxmart. Okay, let's see here, um, increases crypto shield power, yeah, we'll take this. Um, Greatly increases crypto shield power. Yeah, I'm gonna need that. Um, okay, so yeah, um, I upgraded the shields very early in the game. I think they are gonna be important. Okay. Okay. Now we go to Albion. So Albion is a pet, uh... A parody off of London, where Bay City is a parody off of um, San Francisco. And notice how the bay is called Michael Bay. <laughs> yeah, um, a lot of jokes in this game. Okay, so this is London now. What does the map of London look like? Okay. Here.
No pox, please. We're British. Those documents you recovered in Bay City were most informative. It seems the Soviet spy master, Agent Orinchov, is at large somewhere in this very city. Well, he ain't here for the weather, that's for damn sure. He's talking about the fog in London. Um, ask about Orinchov. So, those documents say where I might find our little buddy Orinchov? According to the documents, he's established a secret base somewhere underground. Ask about Albion's, um, underground make remark. Um, okay. Yeah, I bet he's big into underground movements. <laughs> oh, you're good. That was very good. Have you ever thought about doing stand-up? Pay attention! Ask about Albion's underground. Secret base underground. Well, that shouldn't be too tough. Just scan the city while we were flying in. Yes, but it's useless. The city is riddled with tunnels, pipes, and excavations galore. It's like a damp, moldy sponge built atop a noxious Swiss cheese. Vivid. So what do we do? I suppose you'll have to swallow your pride and ask one of the natives. Ah, oh, not again. I hate reading human minds. They're so simplistic, like reading a pop-up book. <laughs> Recap mission goals. So I'll sneak around scanning the local humans' teeny little minds? Right. My guess is you'll only be able to use derelict tunnels. Okay. Locate the tunnels, infiltrate them, and find Agent Orinchov. Then squeeze. Hard. Indeed. Happy spelunking! Use Cortex Scan to find the KGB base. Okay. Okay, uh, okay, I need to... Okay, body snatch somebody here, okay. Okay, nope, that was the wrong one. Okay, I keep getting that mixed up, okay. I'll bet those old tunnels reach all the way under the northeastern end of Hyde Park. Now why I'd care, I have no idea. So this is the gift this game takes place in the 1960s um once again um but um any of you guys that are uh from uh great britain or been to great britain um that watch my channel what do you think of the depiction of london in this game do you think like the map is kind of accurate um okay let's see here what are those tunnel blokes on about i couldn't understand the bloody word of course i don't speak irish What are those tunnel blokes on about? I couldn't understand a bloody word. Of course, I don't speak Irish. This looks like the entrance to their subterranean lair, all right. Get in there and start spelunking. Yes, yes, what is it? Run for your life, it's Pete Townsend. Use chemical barrels to kill what KGB agents. On? Okay, uh... Okay, get rid of all the KGB. Oh, we got here a collectible, okay.
Okay, I gotta watch out for those chemical barrels. But it's like I was saying, like, the KGB were, you know, mostly known for their assassinations. Now, the CIA also did some, you know, um, uh, you know, some covert operations in other countries, and there was, um, uh, there was some assassinations, I'm sure of it, but the KGB were, uh, were the most known for their assassinations during the Cold Wars. This is like a real group. Um, I, the KGB are probably, you know, the scariest spies in, like, history, I would say. Or at least one of the scariest spies in history. I'm kinda in a hurry, and between you and me, I'd just as soon save the ammo. So what do you say we skip the Kalinka dance, and you tell me what I wanna know? Yeah, so those are the spores. You're gonna find out more about that later in the game. Not what I was expecting. But if you think turning yourself into some kind of mutant freak is gonna stop me beating the answers out of you, you got another thing coming. Okay, I don't think the Zappomatic does any damage to him. Okay, uh... Yeah, this boss battle is very different than in the original, um... Okay, I am doing some damage, but it's... Yeah, he takes a lot of damage. Okay, I think, yeah, Disintegrator Ray is probably the best thing to use in this. Okay, yeah, disintegr Disintegrator Ray. Yeah, it's doing 45 damage on each shot. Okay, this is a second part to the boss battle. The original boss battle did not have this. Um... Okay, what did I get? Okay, the probe launch critic charge and release one. The okay. The 
the ammo for this too. Okay, got it. Be careful, Crypto. This chamber is emitting high levels of radiation. Just a quick peek inside. Critical hit uh, orange shove using the probe. Okay, so uh, I think that this is gonna take him out of mutant form because the probe in the original game did that. Um... Oh, it did. Okay. Okay, got it. Yeah, that's his weakness. Okay. Glad I upgraded the shields before this battle. And not regenerating health right now, don't like that. Okay, finally. Okay. Now I should be able to kill him now. <laughs> Gotta be careful to step on that too. Need some more disintegrator ray ammo. Okay, here I got got it. Okay. Okay, that's it. We got him. Hmm. Chicken Kiev. What the hell was in those cans? Revelade can't do that. Well done, Mr. President. Well done indeed. This guy's a parody off James Bond. Teabag. No, sir, but I know you. Forgive me, it seemed best simply to stand clear and give you room to do what you do so well. These Soviets are rather slippery fish. Yes. Very slippery indeed, but they do crack. Not KGB ally prefers fish and chips. Follow me, Mr. <laughs> President. I can promise you answers in abundance. Shall we? The Englishman must stay alive. Okay. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, one more. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this weapon now. I got a little confused how to use it originally, but... Yeah, zap medics gonna be good here. So many so close to each other. Wait for the gas to clear. Okay. Okay, add an ammo here for that. This guy's name is Ponsberry, I think. But his outfit is even more ridiculous than in the um uh, than in the uh, original. I wonder if we might have a little chat now, Mr. President. Yeah, sure, what the... Hey, wait a second, Mr. President. I ain't in my presidential disguise. How do you know who I am? They don't call it British intelligence for nothing, old boy. The man to know who he is. Okay, you got my attention. Who the hell are you? Reginald Ponsonby Smythe, at your service. And Her Majesty's, although in her case, the service is secret. I'm with M16, the Foreign Intelligence Agency. I think it's MI6, not M16. Um, uh, m demand to know what's going on. Mock his dress sense. Mock his dress sense. What's with the suit? Somebody die. In this line of work, somebody always does. Besides, just because I'm a civil servant doesn't mean I have to dress like one, eh? Keep mocking him. Aren't you a little overdressed? As Oscar Wilde once said, one should either be a work of art or wear a work of art. And this suit is exquisite, don't you think? If you say so, I'm uh, more the wash and wear mylar type. Demand to know what's going on. Okay. So I, I'm starting to get a little ticked off here. These bastards blow up my mothership, kill my boss, screw up my pension plan, and just when I track one of them down, he turns into some kind of super-powered freakazoid mozzarella monster. I sympathize. To be frank, sir, we appear to be fighting a common enemy. Might it not be the better part of Valor to join forces and pool our information? Hmm. Ah, I seem to be late for a previous engagement. It's been a pleasure, Mr. Cryptosporidium. Do feel free to drop by at your leisure. I think you'll find we have some 
mutual interests. But... Excellent, excellent. I'll expect you for lunch then. Splendid. Must dash. Human needs tea now. <laughs> Translation. <laughs> uh, oh man. That, uh... <laughs> yep. A lot of jokes in this game, um... Okay, we got everything there, 100%. The underground snake, rattle, and roll. Okay, I have to read this. Let's see, what is this? Um, obsolete underground tunnel collapses. A series of rumblings and quakes uh, were heard emanating uh, from a series of retired underground lines yesterday afternoon. These underground lines connect a series of derelict so-called ghost stations. Rumors have um, aban abounded to what um, uh, might be found within these tunnels. Some claim that Jack the Ripper's great-grandson uh, stalks the forsaken tracks. Others that it... it it had become a refuge for mushroom um, uh, mushroom cultivators, and still um, others that the tunnels um, and still and still others that the tu that the tunnels compromise a secret bunker to protect the queen herself. Um, also, also um, Jack the Ripper was the uh, like most famous like British serial killer. He was in the late nineteenth century. He was never caught. He terrorized the district of Whitechapel, a poor area in London. Um, uh, tantalizing, um, uh, clues as to what really could be found in these abandoned tunnels have intrigued Albion residents for years, as the cutthroat, uh, barbers of, um, barbers of Soho, uh, being trained by Jack the Ripper's descendants in secretive underground, um, uh, beautician schools, that the abundance of fresh mushrooms at the canal, um, uh, side market originate below the streets of the city, do the, um, uh, feral, um, the feral gorgeous that ter terrorize uh, commuters expect from the royal bunker. City uh, engineers say that the number uh, that the rumbles and shakes yesterday mean that the tunnels have collapsed, and now the world may never know the truth. Revelate caval cavalcade towards Hyde Park. Okay, so I I guess we will leave it off here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Had a lot of fun. We did a lot of a lot on this part, and next part we'll continue the um, Albion story. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys um, uh, enjoy the video. See you in the next one. Take care, everyone.